One of the most appealing things about the German short head pointer is how easy they are to groom. While the process is a simple one, this video will guide you through what brushes you need, how often you need to brush, bathing recommendations, and anything else you need to know about keeping the German short head pointer's appearance absolutely top notch. Welcome back to the Femra German Short Head Pointer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemraCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the glorious German Short Head Pointer. So if you love them as much as we do here at Fenra, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a German Short Head Pointer video. So then, let's dive into today's video and get down to what you need for brushing. Now, the German Short Hair Pointer is an easy keeper as far as brushing goes. They don't have much of an undercoat, but this also means that instead of blowing their coat with the changing of the seasons, you can expect a little more shedding year round. Now, German Short Hair Pointers will need to be brushed weekly. This will help reduce the amount of hair you find around the home and also keep the dog's skin in good condition, as brushing isn't always about merely reducing hair and help to move healthy oils that build up near the skin and the base of the fur and spread them through the rest of their bodies and coats. Now, it also creates a lovely bonding experience for you and your dog as well, especially when you start early and make a very positive experience out of it. Now, in terms of the brushes that you're going to need, I recommend a pair of grooming gloves, a firm bristle brush, and you're pretty much good to go. The brushing process is simple and just gently run the brush or your, uh, your gloves over the dog's body, both with and against the direction of the hair. And that's about it. Don't worry about making the GSP uncomfortable going both ways and going against the hair doesn't hurt as long as you make sure that you brush it back in the right direction afterwards. This also helps to lift up the hairs and get any loose strands that might be trapped out and keeps them looking absolutely tip top. Now, for bathing matters, the German Short Head Pointer might need baths more frequently due to how active they are. This breed likes to explore the outdoors and follow their noses, which can get them into some dirty situations. Now, all natural, high-quality dog shampoo is all you need unless your dog has some skin allergies, in which case uh, you go for a hypoallergenic shampoo instead, and this is quite common for the breed. It is vital to never use human shampoo on a dog of any breed, as human shampoo is not chemically balanced for dog hair and can damage their fur and skin. Now, you might need a rubber uh, or plastic comb to help work the shampoo into their coat, and we'll make the process of removing any dirt hiding, hiding under the fur much easier. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up, or found as strays, and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes so if you're interested in following my journey of how i do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below i think you'll really enjoy the journey but i'll let you get back to the video you were just watching now you might need your rubber grooming mitts to help work the shampoo into their coat and it will make the process of removing any dirt hiding under the fur much easier now, once the German short hair pointer is all clean, it is crucial to dry them off well with a hand dryer or at least a good towel dry down and then brush them out again. Leaving water trapped under the coat can cause hot spots and skin irritation. Now, when it comes to eye care, it would be best if you made inspecting your German short hair pointer's eye a part of your regular grooming routine. This breed does have several eye conditions known throughout the breed, such as cone degeneration, which can lead to day blindness. If it seems like your German short hair pointer is having a hard time seeing during the day, it is time for a vet visit. Other than that, eye care is relatively minimal, and you just need to be mindful of any discharge you see and make sure to help wipe it up. Now, the German Short Hair Pointer is a breed with floppy ears, so an ear cleaning should be part of your normal grooming and bathing routine with this breed. You will need some cotton balls and a canine ear cleaning solution. Simply dampen the cotton ball with the solution and then wipe the inside of the ear with the cotton ball's damp part. Never push the cotton ball into the ear and only clean what you can see. Pushing down into the ear canal uh, is, can cause a lot of damage because the dog's got a very sensitive inner ear. That's also why you don't want to use a Q-tip, by the way. Now, if the skin in the ear looks looks flushed, if you see any discharge, smell anything funny or any large amounts of dry flaky buildup in the dog's ear, again it might be time to visit the vet as these can be signs of infection. Now also if your dog gets wet either after bathing or swimming, make sure you dry their ears really well with a dry cotton ball. Leaving ears damp again will cause bacteria buildup which then will lead to infection. 
Germ short head pointers who are active will need less nail care as they will wear their nails down quite naturally, especially if you walk them on, on pavements or sidewalks. But usually they will probably still need it every six to eight weeks. It can vary from individual to individual and depend on diet and exercise like we've mentioned. The rule of thumb is to wait until you can hear any kind of clicking on hard floors or hard surfaces and that's a telltale sign that it's time to get your dog's nails clipped. Either do it yourself or groomers will be more than happy to help you. So that's it. That's all you need to be focusing on to keep your German short head pointer looking incredible. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please click that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We've got got two dedicated German short hair pointer videos coming to this channel every week and I can't wait to see you again on the next episode of the Femre German short hair pointer show.